I'll be totally honest and say I was really shocked at how um, easy it was for Randall to date someone else. I'm obsessed with the show, obsessed with both of you. It's I can't wait for everybody to binge it, but how are you both doing? Why are we not together? Yeah, <laughs> so I'm actually working out of San Fran this Okay, week. I got nervous for a second. <laughs> yeah, she's traveling for work and I'm back in Austin. Still. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. So um, getting right into it, why did you feel like this was the right choice for your relationship? Yeah. So um, I'm the one who gave Randall the ultimatum. Mm -hmm. uh, and ultimately, you know, it just came down to the fact that we were having a lot of conversations about what we could potentially be. Mm -hmm. um, and I just felt like, you know what, I want to see some, some intention behind it on Randall's part. Um, and yeah, I just, I mean, I thought giving him an ultimatum would be the best way to Kind of jumpstart that. <laughs> Randall, when Janine uh, said that she wanted to go on the show, were you like, absolutely not? Were you open to the idea? I was a little skeptical because mm -hmm. obviously when you look at t reality shows, wherever, whenever people come up with these crazy concepts, <laughs> you automatically think that, okay, they're trying to pit us against, against each other. Um, and prior to coming on the show, I thought our relationship was good. Mm -hmm. I thought it was great. So um, when she kind of gave me that ultimatum, it was a shock at first. Um, and I realized that Shanique is way more emotional than I am. That's something that I definitely had to work on. I'm more of a technical thinker, like finances, got to get rid of some debt. Mm -hmm. um, but she definitely helped me along the way when it came down to just opening up and realizing some faults I need to work on as well um, in this relationship. Yeah, Shanique, what, what, was been, what was the hardest part for you to watch back? Um, yeah. regarding Randall's relationship with Madeline or, yeah. you know, any other aspect of the show? I'll be totally honest and say I was really shocked at how um, easy it was for Randall to date someone else. I mean, obviously, yeah. I've never seen him date anyone else besides me. <laughs> but even then, I mean, we started as friends, so it was a very kind of like slow progression to things getting romantic or just like, you know, as he said, like really being um, vulnerable and uh, emotional, as he put it, you know, about certain things. And so I was very surprised to see that watching that back. I was like, wow, like, I mean, instantly they just kind of were able to, um, you know, open up to each other. And I think that, um, you know, in part has to do with how the experience is structured, mm -hmm. of course. Definitely. Randall, how about you? Um, sorry, could you repeat the question one more time? What, no, what, what was the hardest part about watching uh, Shanique with Zay? Uh, I think the hardest part was just not being there, to be honest. I mean, because every day we all had uh, different talking points, what we want to talk about, um, things that we could work on within ourselves, as well as our relationship, in order for whoever that person ends up with to be their better selves. Um, so just seeing Shanique and Zay together, obviously the jealous bone kicks in. So. It, to be honest, everything. I think that was just the hardest part to seeing her laugh and smile. Like, what you smiling at over there? You know, that's, that was just the hardest thing to see her enjoy herself with somebody else because you don't want to think about that. Um, and it could be a, a possible reality um, if that were to happen, you know? Yeah. Were these hurdles that you had to kind of overcome after the show? Was it something that you had to talk through yeah. or did you decide, you know, we're going to leave that alone and kind of just focus on each other? Oh, Christina. Yeah, um, mm -hmm. definitely. I mean, you know, toward the end of the experience, I mean, you know, things kind of played out the way they did, right? Mm -hmm. And then we got home and we were like, okay, like, this is real life. Like, this is real life. How do we actually address some of these uh, things that came up during the experience? I mean, to Randall's point, um, you know, he thought everything was great. Um, and obviously, like, you know, there were a couple of things that we, we needed to work on, and that was definitely highlighted, I think, in the experience. Um, and so we, we had to go back and look at that and, and figure out what that meant for us as individuals. And of course, like how that's going to impact the relationship moving forward. So yeah, mm -hmm. to answer your question, definitely had some uh, revisiting to do. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> and, <laughs> on the day of the engagement, Shanique, did you have any idea that Randall was going to propose? Because I kind of got the feeling that you were a bit unsure, like you didn't really, like I didn't really know if you knew where this was going to go. A full of surprises. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I was um, very, very anxious um, mm -hmm. because from my view, I mean, all I, I felt and saw was that he was connecting with someone else. Um, and obviously, you know, it's, there was a possibility that his mind wouldn't change at the end of it. So 
I was genuinely happy and surprised that that he did propose. Um, but yeah, I, I don't even know. It was just a whirlwind of emotions, honestly. This entire experience, really. Right. Randall, was there ever a doubt in your mind? Did you ever think that maybe at the end of this, you could have been with Madeline instead of Janique? Or was the end goal to always work on your relationship, get engaged, and, and see your relationship all the way through? Obviously, living with somebody for three weeks, you start to gain some sort of feeling, with, whether it's with a friendship, romantically, or uh, anything of that nature. So... Um, going through this experiment, Shanique was always in the back of my mind, just thinking about, okay, the end goal is to really see, okay, is Shanique the right one for me? Am I the right one for Shanique? Um, so throughout these three weeks of me living with Madeline, I was solely working on myself for Shanique. And I think mm -hmm. that helped me kind of um, grow as a person and kind of helped us come together and and uh, do great things. So I think yeah. that was, that, that that's the mindset that I came in thinking about. Yeah, what a, uh, your reaction to Jake and uh, Ray kind of giving it a shot? Shanique, do you feel bad for Zay? Oh man, oh gosh. Um, yes and no. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm being totally honest, yes and no. Um, so Ray is somebody that I, I, I did grow a friendship with throughout mm -hmm. the entire thing. And I think we were all kind of like in a really weird situation where we we're dating each other's partners. So it's like, I like you, but also like you're dating my man, like, you know, so yeah, it, it was weird. But I think what I did feel Zayon was, you know, we were kind of in the same boat where what we saw was our partner mm -hmm. essentially falling for someone else. Like that's what we saw. So we definitely talked about that a lot and we connected on that a lot. Um, and I think there was a lot of kind of like hurt, you know, in that in that part of the experience. So I, I did kind of feel bad for him in that way because I, I felt the same way too, you know, um, essentially I could lose my partner. Mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I think what happened, in my honest opinion, was supposed to happen. I, I don't know that they were the best match for each other. So I'm happy that um, Ray and Jake did have some sort of connection. Yeah. And Randall, are you happy that Madeline and Colby decided to not only get engaged, get married? Now they're having a baby. <laughs> I mean, what do you think about all this? Truthfully, I'm excited and ecstatic for the both of them. I know that Colby's end goal was to get married. Um, and I know Madeline kind of had her concerns in the beginning, but just living with her for those first three weeks, uh, she expressed what she needed to work on as a person and how they could come together and kind of make things work for the better, not just to force things, but to actually make it come work um, naturally. And I think it, it happened. So I'm, I'm definitely happy for them. Definitely. And finally, uh, what was always in those silver cups of yours? <laughs> tequila for me, oh. tequila girl over here. <laughs> a little tequila, a little cognac, a little wine, you know, a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah, it depends on the day, depends on the mood. And yeah. then how, um, I know I gotta wrap, but wedding plans, do you guys have a timeline? Uh, TBA. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, we'll stay tuned. I thank you so much. Congratulations. I can't wait for everybody thank to you. binge the show. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you. All right.